So I updated Mighty Bang Paint Pro for the first time in what feels like forever. Well, five months, but still. And, well, anyway, I noticed they added this new feature called Time Lapse up here. So it opens with a little menu, you can see a time lapse gallery of other things that you've done time lapses of, a little checkbox to start and stop the time lapse recording, and another link that goes to Medibang's website and shows you a bunch of other video work people have made with the tool. So I like this tool a lot. I record speed paints using OBS usually, and OBS it captures whenever you zoom in and do something, and it gets all the, the transitions when you move objects around and stuff. Like, like this, you know. Time lapse doesn't do this, but it does kind of have this zoomed out field where you don't get all the weird zoom ins and flips. And to demonstrate this, I am just going to take a quick time lapse right now. It's fantastic for Instagram, but maybe not the best thing for a YouTube speed paint video. So let's enable our time lapse and let's just start drawing something like a dragon. Welcome to Hell Sand Wing Stick Figure Wing Drawing Tutorial Wing. We have the bestest dragon I ever drew, and just to, you know, spice things up. We're gonna flip the canvas a couple of times. We're gonna go in and transform this guy and then do that and then draw the tail. Now let's disable our time lapse and see what we've got. Oh, I hit the wrong link. Uh, it's okay. We're gonna hit this thing. Let's have a look. Double tap and hit play. So as you can see, there's no transitions. There's no flipping. It's just the canvas view, which is pretty cool. I made a little graphic to go over the pros and cons of this new little tool. So the pros are that it's really easy to use. You just tick a box to start and untick it to stop. There's no crazy window configuration, no nothing. You just hit that box, that's it. The second thing is that it records the whole canvas. So if you want to do like a smaller video, like for Instagram, Tumblr, or Twitter, whatever, this is probably a good tool for you. You get a lot of control over the duration of the, of the video as well. So when you export it from Medibang, it asks you how long in seconds you want this video to be, and you can set it to anything you want. Keep in mind if you make it really, really long, it might be more like a slideshow than a sped up drawing, but that's just, you know, preference. The output is a really small size, so you can upload it to pretty much anywhere. And this is, you know, as mentioned, great for Instagram, TikTok, or where longer videos aren't used that much. So I'd still use OBS to record speed paints for YouTube, but if I want to post something to Instagram and have it be like a speed paint, I would use this tool. And another thing is it only records when you draw. So you can pause, go for a walk, go make yourself some like tea, and then come back. And then instead of having this weird, awkward gap of recording, it's just going to pick up where you left off. The next stroke you put onto the screen, it's going to record. It doesn't record anything else, just your strokes. Now for the cons. It doesn't really feel as smooth as a speed paint, so the line doesn't come out over time, it just appears on the screen. And it can also be kind of hard to follow how the artist is working because you can't see tools and you can't see windows popping up. Also, because the videos are so short, you can't really make a whole video or, you know, a whole piece of content out of it. It's just for shorter posts. And it will give your laptop some input lag if you're having other things going on with it. It seems to be a little bit like laptop intensive, so keep that in mind. And your output will have a Medibang watermark, and when the canvas is resized and you're drawing, you're gonna see like a black border on the side, and this you'll see in another clip in this very video. Without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some examples of some stuff I've done recently for Artfight. So this is just a dragonborn character who belongs to Mart on Artfight. The character's name is Onyx, and I just went for like a standard full body here. So you can see that there's there was a transition earlier where I resized the head and shoulders, and that didn't actually catch super well, it, it just popped up bigger. Uh, a lot of the line art comes out pretty okay, which is nice with this tool. And uh, right there, another transition, it just pops into place. So that's something to keep in mind when recording. Coloring actually comes out pretty well, especially if you're using just the fill tool. Shading. Yeah, shading comes out alright too. I think overall it's a pretty good tool. There's our final. This character's name is Samael and belongs to Whimsical Nimbus on Artfight. You can tell right off the bat that this canvas has been resized later on in the drawing process because of those black bars on the sides. So I think they look a little bit unsightly, but that varies from person to person. If you're okay with how they look, then that's great. But it's just something to be aware of. Uh, 
up ahead, you can also see that I'm struggling a little bit with drawing a halo for this character. That catches. All of that catches. You have to edit that out if you don't want that. Alright, and the final character is Myrker, who belongs to Dragon Flutist Aurora on Art Fight. Uh, nothing too special about this drawing, it's just the third one to finish off the set. And just, you know, show you a little bit more about how I draw. You can't really catch all the stuff in the corners when I'm doing a speed paint, so it's just interesting to watch from a different perspective. I might post this as a speed paint later, so you can compare the two versions if you're really interested in using this tool. That's a wrap! Thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned something new about Medibang. Um, if you like this tool, that's great! If you don't, that's also great! Have a nice one!